I spend the majority of my time either in front of a camera or behind it, and here's why. Work hard, rest often. What is going on, everyone? It's Finn, and if you've been following me for any length of time, you'll know that I'm both a photographer and a model. Now, one thing that modeling has done for me is it's actually greatly increased my confidence. It's allowed me to express myself in a lot of different ways, but here's the main thing, and here's what I would suggest to any photographer out there looking for different ways to improve your skills. When I got started in photography in high school, I did a lot of self-portrait work. And this was a lot of experimentation, weird ideas and that sort of thing. But it got me comfortable in front of the camera, which then later on led to me modeling. But the main thing is when I'm instructing somebody in front of my camera, if I've been there myself, I know what it's like to be in that position so I can better instruct them. Some of the greatest photographers out there, Nigel Barker, for example, was a model for many years for becoming primarily just a photographer. Even Peter Hurley, the master of headshots himself, was a model for the longest time and then slowly switched to being primarily a photographer. And this is because you understand it at a different level. If you've been in front of the camera, you know how to direct the people when you are behind the camera. It's also just given me a different perspective and a larger appreciation for the artistry that these models have. We're not just out there looking good in front of the camera. There's more that goes into it. And it can actually be a grueling job sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't always pay the best. And sometimes you get taken advantage of and it's not the best environment, which is why as a photographer, I always try to make my models feel as comfortable as they can because I know what it's like to be in that place. And if I can be the photographer that advocates on behalf of whoever I'm shooting with, then it's just gonna make sure that all the photos we take come out better. I always find the best photos are when I can really vibe with my subject. And if I'm able to do that because I know where they're coming from and because I can empathize with them because I've been there, then that's going to lead to better photos and a better experience overall. This is something I would honestly suggest just about any photographer do. Put yourself in front of the camera, even if it's just doing self-portraits, because you will learn so much that will actually make you a better photographer. This has absolutely changed up how I work, how I talk to models, how I work with them, makeup artists, all of it. It just gives you another level of understanding where you see the entire process from all ends of the spectrum. So that way, no matter where you are, you have an understanding of it and everything is just going to go smoother because of that. You're not gonna be yelling at models because you know what they're like in that position and you're gonna be able to direct them in ways that they will respond well to because you will know how photographers have directed you. You will be able to take things that you do like and most importantly, things that you don't like. Leave that out of the picture so that way when you're instructing your models you can give them clearer direction and that way they're going to be able to give you exactly what you want every single time it's something that has taken me a lot of trial and error to figure out but it's something that i'm super super grateful for and honestly anybody out there you don't have to go and model for shoots specifically just take some self portraits and you'll understand how to move and how to pose people so much better one of my main posing tips for people is get in front of the camera yourself and suddenly you will understand it at such a deeper level. But the other thing is being a photographer has also made me a better model because I know what the photographer is looking for. I've had photographers who have photographed me tell me that they barely need to give me any instruction because I see what they're doing and I quickly adapt and structure my posing and my look to fit that. So that way we're all on the same page and everybody's happy. That look that they're going for is easily achieved because I see it and I know what to give them. If they're just shooting me from up here, I'm not gonna be doing anything with my legs. I'm just gonna be moving my body to give them what they want and what they need. So whether you're a model, whether you're a photographer, aspiring to either one, being along both sides of the camera can help you so so much and to anybody who's looking to grow in either of these fields i definitely 
definitely suggest trying out the other side of the camera. This is just my own personal experience, but if you have been in a similar scenario, let me know your thoughts. Like this video if you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell to be notified for all future videos. Work hard, rest often, and as always, my friends, I'll see you on the next one.